all of those fallen leaves around. It's just so gorgeous. I'm at work. Hey guys and welcome to a new vlog. So today, as you can see, I'm wearing my winter stuff because it is kind of cold outside. So I think the temperatures are in, well, probably the low 40s in Fahrenheit. So that means they're like, like five degrees centigrade, which is really not that warm. However, it was very overcast this morning and right now it's actually sunny out there and the sky is somewhat blue. So I decided to go for a walk. So what's happening here right now? We just started our lockdown number two today. I told you guys before that we had sort of like a lockdown light situation the past two weeks. But actually, starting today, we are back in lockdown like we were back in March and April. So it is a lockdown hard, basically. So it's a strict lockdown. So what's happening? Restaurants and hotels already had to close about two weeks ago. Everything else, basically with a few exceptions had to close again too since our numbers have not been great as far as i have heard the numbers have gotten a little bit better the past few days but the lockdown light was not enough so that's why they put us back to where we started back in march and april so what's happening um like hairdressers basically almost all stores they all had to close again um, what didn't have to close though are supermarkets, um, pharmacies, drugstores. Um, did bakeries have to close? I'm not even sure. If they, I think bakeries are still allowed to be open. But is there anything else that's... Oh, banks are still open, obviously, because people need money. But yeah, that's what's happening here. So as far as office workers are concerned, as long as they have measures at their company they can still go to work as far as I know back in March and April they were not allowed to go to work for a while they closed schools again so elementary school and junior high are still open if parents can't like watch their kids then they can still bring them there but they won't have like regular classes or anything they'll just be watched while they do their schoolwork um, so it's basically the same as distance learning. What else? I think that's basically it. So we don't know how everything's gonna go. For now, they said we're gonna be in our second phase of lockdown, of full lockdown, for at least two and a half weeks. So until December 6th. And then we'll see what happens from there. Anyways, we can still go outside. We're actually supposed to go outside for walks and stuff. So we can still do that and, um, yeah, so let's go ahead, let's go for a walk. That's why I'm wearing this stuff. Just wearing a trench and yeah. So let's go for a walk and let's see what Salzburg is like right now. I'm not sure whether it's gonna be really quiet. I think it will be, but there might actually be some people around. I don't know, I'll bring my mask of course. <laughs> It is so quiet in the city, like I'm in the center of the city, in the heart of the city and basically there are just a few people around. It's so sad to see Salzburg this way, at the same time I'm glad because that way it means less risk for me. We're taking the scenic route today. So the scenery is just, it's stunning, isn't it? Like all of those fallen leaves around, it's just so gorgeous. That 
that was a really really nice walk so the temperature was fine it was sort of cold but with like a scarf and my trench coat and my hatband I was really warm <laughs> so anyways since I see just in the background of the video I'll show you what I'm making so I made the dough before I left Ooh, that's nice it's rising nicely let me just see if I can actually show you guys so it looks a little bit weird, but I actually made some homemade pizza dough from scratch. I'm surprising Mario with this tonight. He loves pizza and I mean you can get store-bought pizza crusts, but it's not the same. <laughs> and this is way healthier by the way too. So what I used is wholemeal spelt flour, which is um, flour I really like using when I'm making bread and stuff and also pizza. It's just a standard recipe. Since it's not my own recipe, I actually used the recipe, which is a first. <laughs> um, I have tried this recipe before though, a couple of weeks ago, and it turned out really well. I can link it for you guys, however, it's in German, so I just don't feel comfortable posting someone else's recipe, which is why I'm just gonna leave the link for it here. I'm sorry if you don't speak German, it's just, I feel like it would be copywriting if I just posted the recipe. That makes sense. <laughs> But I hope this turns out well. We have a lot of fresh vegetables in the fridge that we're gonna put on this. A little bit of ham and some cheese. We have mozzarella cheese, which is one of my favorites. So we're gonna put that on top and some fresh basil leaves. It's so good. And it's, it's not that unhealthy to think of it. Like pizza usually, if it's very oily and stuff, it's really, really unhealthy. But homemade is not that unhealthy, just saying. So my walk was very nice. I think I was walking for about one and a half hours, just strolling around basically. I went to Mönchberg, which is this, um, I'd say it's a little hill. I mean, Berg in German means mountain in English, but it's not a mountain, it's just a hill. And I mean, if you've watched my channel before, you probably have seen this area before. But I feel like it's so pretty now since the leaves are turning red and orange and brown and yellowish. It's just, yeah, I, I love the scenery. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of fall, I prefer spring and summer. But like the scenery is really beautiful. I just don't like the cold too much, which is um, ironic since I'm living in one of the coldest countries in Europe. <laughs> Not the coldest country, but we get a lot of cold weather here. Someone commented that 3 degrees centigrade, which is high 30s in Fahrenheit, or yeah, mid to high 30s in Fahrenheit is really cold. It gets way cold over here, so <laughs> that's just standard, <laughs> just saying. Anyways, I'm excited for this pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. That's not good. Why am I getting hungry now? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this walk. I'm just gonna study a little bit now because I have my annual first aid training on Friday and there is a test. I'm not sure if it's at the beginning of our class or in the end, I don't know. But there's definitely a written test which I need to study for. I'm pretty sure I know pretty much everything that our manual says but I just wanna make sure and like go over everything once more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and I have heard from some of my friends that the training is a little different. Like usually the training, like first aid training is very hands-on so we have to like take someone's blood pressure, we have to like do CPR, just train all of that. Some of my friends told me that it's more theoretical this year so there's still the test obviously. The rest of the stuff they'll just show you and you go through it step by step but you don't actually do all the stuff because of the virus. So we'll see how that goes on Friday. So you're excited for the pizza? Oh yes. Does it, it look good? It's very delicious. It does. It's homemade pizza with homemade pizza dough made from scratch. Mm, yummy. It's garlic, onions, um, pepper. Yeah, bell pepper, tomato, and mushrooms, and of course cheese. So we just added fresh basil leaves and looks good. Good morning! It is already Wednesday. I have my iPad here, my crew iPad. I'm just going through all of those questions that I need to get through and just read all that material concerning first aid for Friday for my first aid recurrent. 
other than that, the weather is beautiful today. So we're gonna go outside. I'm not sure where we're gonna go, but I wanna go a little, well, I wanna head a little outside of the city because I don't wanna meet any crowds or anything. I don't think that a lot of people will be outdoors anyways because we are in the middle of lockdown again. But maybe we'll go to the new apartment or maybe we'll actually walk a little farther and go to a few lakes that are close by. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. It is so sunny today, so just went by the new apartment and things are going well. It feels like they're getting ahead because they're still doing construction, but it's awesome the way it's going so far. That was a really nice extensive walk and right now I'm on here. I'm checking my bids because December bidding is, it's difficult usually, but given that we are in the middle of a pandemic, it's even more difficult, I'd say. So usually I can score some flights and I'm like, oh, I will have Christmas and New Year's off, but well, the thing is, since there are not that many flights and there aren't that many reserve and standby lines, I just don't want to risk anything and I want to have Christmas off and I'm actually trying to keep the second half of December off because we are moving in December to our new place, the one I just walked by. <laughs> by the way, a few of you have asked me why I didn't show the place from the outside. I'm sorry, you guys, I can't do that. There's so many creeps out there and stuff and... Um, yeah, I'm not gonna show the outside of the building I'm moving to because I would be easily located that way. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm trying to um, score a reserve line for December. That doesn't really mean that there will be a lot of flights. I don't know yet because a lot of people or a lot of countries are going back into lockdown. So I don't know what's gonna happen in December. However, I'm pretty sure that I can get Christmas off. I have never worked on Christmas Eve ever since I started flying and I have pretty much worked on the 25th on Christmas Day pretty much every single year. So, well actually I have worked on Christmas Eve once but I got back around lunchtime so I was still here for Christmas Eve for like all of the festivities. But yeah, let's see what this says. So our bidding system closes tonight, but we don't get our roster until the 27th. Okay, so my main bid is still in there, but my alternate bid, so we have to like add a few different ones if we try to get one bid, is already red, and red means that I'm not gonna get that. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that I'll be off of work on like Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. But the rest of the month, we'll see. I'll keep you posted. Hey guys, it's Friday already. I am sitting in my car right now, as you guys can see. So this is the area. I'm at work. So as you can see, I'm not wearing my flight attendant uniform. So I'm not gonna be working as cabin crew today. However, I still had to go to work because my annual first aid recurrent is scheduled for today. Basically, what that means is I'll have to take a test. So I'll just um, have to do like this written exam. It's like multiple choice. So I should be fine. Like um, I've known this stuff for years. So <laughs> this is like the fifth time I'm taking these tests. So it should be fine. This is my last recurrent day for this year and I don't have any other recurrent days scheduled in the next half year, which is awesome. So I just need to pass this today and then afterwards I read online that they changed the test. So the test is now in the beginning of the training because usually I think it was the last thing we did, but now it's in the beginning and then we'll have like, um, usually it's hands-on training, but this year I've heard I don't know yet because I haven't done the training yet but I've heard that this year it's more like theoretical and um, the trainer does more of the stuff that we usually do so we'll see how that goes and it's just it takes four hours I think so I'm just having my lunch here I actually tried something new yesterday so I have some whole grain pasta in here and 
I made a sauce out of coconut milk and red lentils. Um, I added some chives and what else? There is parsley in there, there is onion in there, and there's carrot in there. It looks a little weird, but oh, it smells so good. Kind of smells like one of those Thai curries because of the coconut milk. But then again, it doesn't. And I'm interested to see how Mario likes this because I made this for lunch yesterday. I didn't actually have this yesterday though. Um, I just made it at lunchtime to take with me to work today. And then Mario got the second portion that I made. So we'll see how that goes. Well, I think I should probably eat this and go over the material for today's test once more. And then I have to head in actually because it's already 12 noon and training starts at 1 p.m. today. Okay, so the light is horrible. It's already dark outside and I only have this very small light in my car up there. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done. I did my first aid training for another year, so I have my license for another year. Yay! I passed with flying colors, so I got 100% on the written test. And actually, not much changed since last year. So we still had to reanimate like one of those dummies. They're called dummies, right? Like those first aid dummies. And what else? Um, we didn't have to do the... Okay, so when you reanimate someone, usually when you do CPR, when you do CPR, you do like the pressure thingy and then you actually have to breathe into someone's mouth. Basically, we didn't have to do the briefing part to show them that we knew like the um, like the right way to use the mask and all that. What else? Um, we had to do mock-up training. The rest of the day was a little more theoretical than the other years. Like usually it would be like we touch everything and just like look at all of those emergency equipment thingies and this year it was more of like the trainer showing us stuff but there was still hands-on training though anyways i'm on my way home now well i'm still parked here by the way there's a road right next there but there's a parking lane right here i remember the last time i was here people were like oh my gosh i'm scared for you because there are cars going by right next to your car i'm still parked in the parking lane so i'm in a parking spot anyways let's go back home mario is gonna pick me up at my old apartment because my car is still parked there because parking is free there and yeah i have to get going now because it's already 5 p.m and i don't want to be home that late and we're gonna order sushi tonight so i'm excited i am one happy camper right now so we waited almost two hours for our sushi but it's here now and it looks so good. I haven't had sushi in a while. Would you look at that? Oh my gosh, I don't eat soy sauce cause I'm not a huge fan. Like in cooking it's fine, but not with sushi. But ooh, yummy, I love it. It's already Saturday and because of that, I'm going to end this vlog here since I actually need to edit all of these clips before they go live tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you got to see a little bit more about um, like what the situation of lockdown number two is like over here. I know some countries are already in their third lockdown phase. It's only the second lockdown phase over here and I just hope that you're all well wherever you are in the world. I hope you're staying safe, stay healthy and I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.